white bison standing on the roof. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Average reset. Kilometer reset. So time to start end the journey. So you guys would be wondering what am I doing early in the morning? So time is 12.30 in the morning, uh, temperature is 27, pretty hot in Chennai. Um, so it'll be pretty exciting, it's a very very long trip from here. On the way let me see if there's anything more interesting, I'll be showing you guys on the way. So time is 3 o'clock, uh, took the first break um, just to fill the petrol and uh, we have done 140 km. So just done with it. Now we'll again proceed lot of weight to go it's still pretty warm uh, anyway better than 27 now the temperature is 21 so yeah let's hit the main road now Villipuram is about 18 km uh, is 180 km yeah so that's nothing much to see now it's pretty dark we'll see in the next split stop So the time is 5.30, just stopped for a uh, washroom break. Um, it's very, very cold outside, it's 15 degrees Celsius. So I'm not sure what's going to be the situation in OT. And it's very cold. So let's hit the road. Guys, the time is 7 o'clock, um, just stopped for a coffee, uh, feeling very sleepy. Rukhamani Amal Pure Vegetarian Restaurant. I've already got breakfast packed, um, so I don't have breakfast anywhere from the restaurant. Filter coffee in the morning, sun is just rising, it's 7 o'clock. Uh, so, since sun is rising, it's just getting a little warm. So we'll just finish this off and be on the way. I think there is enough sugar for two cups but yeah i think they prefer to have it very sweet here and uh, it's very very strong the coffee is ready cheers i don't know what was that item was left behind with it for quite some time I think he's struggling to pass through these areas because um, the, the electricity line is very low so he cannot pass through uh, these areas very fast so yeah so now it shows about 90 kilometers to OT and it started getting a little warm time is about 8 o'clock let's see how cold OT weather would be in the morning So we are crossing uh, the town of Metropolitan and you can see the first few glimpses of the uh, mountain ranges and you can see Uti is 49 kilometers from here and uh, Kunnur is 32 kilometers. So I was thinking first instead of going to Uti, but I'll go to uh, Kunnur. There are a couple of two points which I want to cover, Lambs Rock as well as Dolphin Nose. So I thought on the way I'll cover those two uh, picnic spot and then head to Uti. And usually the Dolphin Nose and uh, Lambs Rock is part of the itinerary in Uti sightseeing. But the problem is these two points are in Kunnur actually. Anyway, since this is on the way, um, I thought it's better to cover this off and then later go to Uti. So I don't have to come back to this part of the uh, area for sightseeing. I'll only cover the other side which is towards uh, the northern side. 
road starts getting congested right now so it's only two lanes and it is difficult to overtake that's a palm plantation and you can see that that's how they do the irrigation i've just stopped for a coconut water break so we'll uh, finish that off and we'll proceed on the way there are a lot of monkeys here i do not want the monkeys to take my gopro so i think it's best for everyone to shut the camera and i will have um, the coconut water and proceed let me try showing you guys the monkey let me see if monkeys are here somewhere yeah there's a monkey who's trying to cross the road right there so i don't want to take a risk so i'll finish off the break and then uh, be on the way guys this is the uti Uti rail uh, road it's a toy train um, road right there so i just want to show you guys that so this is very close to where uh, we stop for the coconut water so we're done with that and we shall push up right now bye both these sides you can see it's all palm plantation the same thing which i showed you guys uh, some time back and it looks beautiful see it's uh, giving a good shade on both the sides and uh, it looks pretty nice at least in this stretch of the road there's not much of traffic and uh, the roads get bigger so at least this part is very very nice to drive Uh, there was a small stretch just before metropolem and uh, after crossing it which was very narrow and you'll see lot of visitors like this so the place here is called turi palam i don't know what does it mean but the place is called turi palam under the bridge is little bit of water nothing uh, great to stop Kerala to Chennai which I was traveling there I crossed Kumli check post that was also forest check post um I did not see anyone standing here also same situation so there is another check post coming properly there would be checking there let me just see i think it's some um, fees i guess let's try to find out how much is it So you guys would be wondering why am I wearing a mask? There was a check post where they collected thirty rupees for that. It's like an entry fee, I guess. So that gentleman was saying two things. One, he said, uh, "Have you taken the pass?" Which I have already taken. So he said there is a further ahead. There is a check post where they will be checking the e-pass. And second, he said, uh, "Please wear your mask because the if at all you're not wearing a mask, there's a fine for that as well." So I don't want to take a chance. So we, I'm wearing mask, and uh, I'll just take my e-pass. So we should be all ready to go, I guess. So now, this is how the view of the mountains are. be going to any waterfall areas i think this also was one area where there was waterfalls 
because uh, it's, it, there's no point of going right now because there'll be hardly any, hardly any water. And one more thing I'm gonna say is, um, when you come towards the site, please ensure that you download uh, Google Maps offline because most of these areas will not have a network uh, and uh, don't get stuck somewhere without knowing how to go. There's a bison standing on the road. Wild bison standing on the road. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Every day. Bye. started from 21 when we started climbing the hills and now it's 90 degrees Celsius but 2 to 3 still there's about an hour or so of drive uh, forward so I hope the temperature further drops down why are you sitting on the beach in the middle of the road you stupid fellow I think they are picking up some berries or something they are sitting in the middle of the road they come and stare at you because they think most of the people who's going um, by the side uh, will be offering them something to eat. So, so when your car comes to almost a halt, they come and stare at you. They look right into your eyes. You know, with that puppy face, they make the puppy face and you know make you think that okay, please give me something to eat. And there's quite some constructions going on. Uh, that's the reason it certain stretches get a little dusty. All the roads are pretty good. It's a waterfall right there. Small one. Oh, look how sunny it is. This is the problem. I should comment. Uh, the work done by the government here if you see on the sides almost every kilometer there's a dustbin you can see the red dustbin right there if you see what's written find after the next bin would be in one kilometer so it's been done by the collector that's what's written so that's something really good every kilometer they have put a dustbin so you don't have to throw your trash here and there you can put it in the bin and keep the area clean good and it's almost everywhere. You, you can see it's right here. There's another dustbin. So there's no shortage for dustbins. Only thing is we need to take the effort of picking up our trash and putting them where it's supposed to go. Okay, it's not a good idea to overtake here. <laughs>
this is the way to Dolphin's Nose as well as uh, Land's Rock. It is a challenge to find this road. It's pretty narrow. But I hope the trek would be worth it. The roads are narrow. And you can see plantations, steep plantations right here. View of the valley. Oops, the roads just get better and better. The roads are only meant for off-roading. Oh my god. When we see these vehicles coming back, there's at least a hope that these people survived and came back. So, we shall also survive. Oops. The roads are very bad. Ouch. Wow. Look at the trees. till the time these people decide to move so this is the trek to lands rock Where is it? Half, half kilometer, right? Huh? Pura milk, sir. No, Lambs Rock, where is it? 500 meters. 500 meters. Here is a car, sir. Guys, this is the Lambs Rock. The reason why this place is called Lambs Rock is because this place was found by a British army man called Lambs. That's the reason this place came after his name. Um, if you can see, uh, all those areas are uh, tea plantations. That's about 10,000 acres of tea plantation right starting from there all the way till there. And the interesting part is right at this point you can see three states. If you go toward that side, that's Karnataka. And where we are standing right now, it's Tamil Nadu. And towards that side is Munar and parts of Kerala. And it's pretty foggy. If at all it was not um, foggy and it was clear, that is where Metropolium and uh, Coimbatore. This rock, where you can see the tallest peak you can see there, that was supposed to be the place where Tipu Sultan's fort was there. That's it. This, this is just a viewpoint, nothing much. Uh, just a, you know, 10-15 minutes hike um, from the car parking area and this is all that is related to Lambs Rock I took a wrong decision of not wearing my hiking shoes and hence every step I take I can feel on my feet This is why some great people say that you should do cardio daily. Well, this cardio is worth for at least 2-3 days. Uh -huh. 
right. Okay. Rock the piercing my leg. Very wrong decision of not wearing uh, trekking shoes. Because the sole of this sandals are very very flat and hence every step I can feel it on my leg. Ouch, ouch. And the way down. And here we go. saw the lambs rock um, the entry fee is 20 rupees for adult and uh, if you're carrying a still camera that will be additional 30 rupees and um, if you are taking a video camera then it will be 100 rupees extra there will be a lot of people standing uh, basically guides who will uh, tell you that they will take you around uh, show you the peaks um, and also help you in taking photos well they charge 200 rupees but frankly speaking it's not worth it and there is a uh, good washroom facilities as, as well available uh, you can see there um, they charge you 10 rupees but i should say it is neatly maintained crowded there was so much of traffic we finally had to uh, quit the plan of visiting dolphin nose let's see uh, maybe the next day uh, I can go and visit that um, so around one o'clock we will go to the hotel it is very hot it's showing 22 degrees Celsius here but uh, it, it does not feel like 22 it is much warmer because uh, sun's rays are hitting directly on the hills uh, so yeah, that's it. So we are just entering Uti. At least Uti is a little broader. I mean, it does not look congested like Kunur. So it's a little broader. Hopefully it is uh, not very crowded. Okay. 